Uh, so I've asked a lovely question. What if I've got someone who's got a view and I've got a good relationship or I love this person, but they've got a view or an opinion or an attitude which I, I, I find um, unacceptable or difficult or unloving? How would I deal with that? Well, for me, um, uh, that for me, you know, I, I mean, I'm sort of thinking of the... the, the um, Energetically, I mean, energetically, how I deal with that. Um, if it's a loved one who's got an opinion, but they're not, they don't seem to be inflicting on anyone else. So is I would, I would, um, one of the things to know is that um, uh, two things, there's the Lord's Prayer, you know, forgive them, for, uh, forgive them uh, so that I may be forgiven. And the other one is um, Dr. Hugh Len, Hapana Pana. So, um, so, uh, and I think this is very, very interesting if you want to be a mystic. <laughs> That's a lot of spiritual work if you want to be a mystic. Um, but uh, as, and this is my interpretation of Dr. Hugh Len. So there's a, 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 whole, um, a whole prison full of violent criminals, shall we say, uh, I think in Hawaii or something. And this guy just gets the files of all these hideous crimes they've done, you know, who knows, axe murdering, running people over with their cars, whatever it is. And then he just gets their files and forgives them for it, you know, tries to basically he tries to clear their karma to bring divine grace and forgiveness. And also, I believe he's accepting oneness, that everything that everyone does is what I've done. And so if I dissolve myself into the infinite oneness and see that that thing they've done is also forgivable from that infinite power, then if there's karmic permission, um, that stuff that they're holding on, those attitudes can be, will be, if there's permission, dissolved out of them and they'll be healed. So I can, through prayer work and transcending and raising my own consciousness and letting go of my ego and then having the love and compassion to help them dissolve their, their stuff, uh, release them from it. But that's only if there's sometimes it serves a purpose and you're not granted that permission to take it off them. But sometimes you are. So um, I mean, I've shared on a thing when my mother had a um, oedema in her leg and I said, I was so, I felt so much sorry for her. And I said, God did not create oedema in my mother's uh, leg. God did not create it uh, to try and dissolve the things that had disappeared from my life on her behalf. I, it was like her, her, all the oedema just uh, started to go very quickly and her leg was healed. It was a miracle to witness. So sometimes there is permission if you do the spiritual work um, to see, um, just to clear that you see a defect in another person, like what that person did is unforgivable, you know, and I, I, I see that that's just not on. They can't, they can't say that and do that and have that opinion in the world. It's unloving. It's unspiritual, um, but you know, just to just to clear that unforgiveness in myself will often bring my level of consciousness up, so that I see the situation differently, and I start to get divine guidance. It's like when I when I see someone as uh, having an unacceptable viewpoint, then I'm often in a low level of consciousness, and I see the situation very darkly. Um, but if I start to do the prayers, uh, I, I surrender, I surrender, dear God, my friends, negative attitudes, and I pray for forgiveness, transcendence, and miracles. I surrender, dear, uh, dear God, my friends, unlovable, unlovable attitudes uh, and opinions, and I pray for forgiveness, transcendence, and miracles. You know, to pray to forgive them, to transcend that, to not, to not hook into that, and and for a miracle, a shift in my perception of what's happening. Um, so it has great power to raise my level of consciousness and allow a greater wisdom. And in that opening of the heart, sometimes, you know, um, that, that person will change automatically as you change because you may be going into oneness and there may be grace that comes to both of you. And they may change their views or you may see the situation differently. So that's uh, one way. But, you know, for me, if a friend of mine has a, a difficult, diff difficult attitude for me, that cannot be by accident. I see everything is karmically ordained for my spiritual growth, the seemingly good and the seemingly bad. So I would definitely use prayer, feel the feelings if there's great feelings to be felt or go to the observer. Okay, 
I am, I'm really upset you're holding a view which I feel is unloving. Okay, but what's, uh, what's observing the me that finds it hard to forgive you? And is the observer finding it hard or difficult? So you could go to that. And sometimes you'll bust your ego perception and bring light into the situation. Okay, so I'll stop that. Mm -hmm.